If you're a government contractor, it doesn't matter what industry, whether it's defense, aerospace, security, contracting, healthcare, chances are someday something's going to happen on a random Tuesday afternoon at 2 o'clock, and you are going to be the person they look to to handle the crisis. This should not be the first time that you've thought about crisis management. First, have a plan. You should have game planned your worst case scenario. That includes selecting your team. You should have pre-planned who is going to be on that team. If you're making decisions now about who's going to be on the team and who has to make those decisions, you're losing time. And in the meantime, the other people are defining you and the events. Second, you need to get the ground truth. That means initially you're going to have to rely on people at the scene uh, and who may have been involved in the event. That means that you need to deploy an independent person who can objectively gather the facts and report them back to you as soon as possible. Third, go public only with hard confirmed facts. It is true that the initial facts are usually wrong in some material way. You do, do not want to go forward with a false narrative. Never lose your credibility. And fourth, avoid a bunker mentality. The team should have people who are in a position to reach out on a proactive basis to customers, to your regulators, to the suspension and debarment official, and depending on the circumstances, members of Congress on key committees and even your local congressman and your senator.